welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys five things you can do when you're bored at home. So let's get started. So the first craft is rock and painting. And all you're going to need is Posca pens or if you're going to use paint. Paint is a much better, but I don't want to wait for it to dry, so I'm just going to be using Posca pens. And then if you want to tape your rock at all, you might want to use some masking tape or duct tape. And then scissors to cut the tape. And then you're going to need some flat stones and a nice workspace. And I'm actually going to have my brother help me with it out because he's also super bored. So we're going to see how this goes. And it's just, just do whatever design you want. Stopping to show you guys what I've done so far. So I just made, I just put some tape down and then I'm gonna be coloring in all these sections with the Posca pens. But oh, I forgot to mention, if you don't have paints or Posca pens, you can always try using markers. It, the color's not gonna be like super vibrant, but you can try to do a few coats and it should come out good. So my brother's gonna try using regular markers for some of his, so this is what he's done so far. But he's gonna try doing a little bit of regular markers so I can show you guys what we're gonna be doing. And I'm just gonna be coloring in mine with Posca pens. Now I finished coloring mine in, and it looks something like this with all the tape. So now I'm gonna try to pull off the tape kind of satisfyingly. So we're, we'll see how this goes, ready? Okay. I tried to go out of the lines a little bit, just, just so it would come out a little bit nice. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. So the tape actually is really fun to do because you can put it in however, type, whatever type of design you want. And then I'm doing it over here. See, I'm, I only did one side because I don't really want to do two because I'm doing another rock too. Oh no, this one got a little bit of paint on it when I was pulling it up. It's okay. I just pushed it away. Okay. Almost a few, only a few more to go. So it doesn't look perfect because I should have probably used duct tape, but I didn't have any on hand. But masking tape worked okay. So it looks something like this. I don't, I mean, it's okay. It's not perfect, but next, I'm gonna try something different on the other one because I don't really like how this one turned out as much, but this one I'm gonna try to make it into a strawberry that looks like something. I'm gonna do a strawberry here. So let's see how this goes. After a lot of coloring, it's finally finished. And this is the one I did first, but I fixed it up a little bit because I felt like the, there was not enough color on it. So I just made it, the shapes a little bigger and I think it looks pretty good now. And then I made a strawberry and um, let's just not talk about that. And then my brother made this one. I, I think it's actually kind of cool because all the colors and yeah, so these this rock painting is super fun for the whole family. Everybody will have fun joining in. And it's with materials you have at home, probably. So I think this is good. I think this one's a success for boredom. Let's move on to the next one. Craft, I like to call it tiny art. So here are three that I've done. I'm not gonna like go super detailed. I'm not gonna show you me doing it or anything. But all you do is cut a piece of paper three by three. You can do cardstock, thick paper, drawing paper, and or even printer paper. So you wanna cut it three by three, three by three inches. And then you got like this piece of paper and you just wanna draw, paint, do stipple, like this dog I did and just put whatever your heart says on the piece of paper. And you can make a tiny little art exhibit and then just take a bunch of cool pictures and it'll look super cool. So right here are three that I did. So this one is painted and then I made it like a shooting star and it looks really cool like at seeing it in real life. And then I got this next one. This one's just a bunch of cool patterns and everything. And then this one's a stippled dog. I tried to do it <laughs> looking like my dog. And I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And it's super simple and easy. And that's all there is to it. So I'll show you a picture of what my art exhibit looks like. The 
next craft is coffee filter flowers that will look something like this when they're done. And all you're gonna need is scissors, tape, a skewer or straw. I don't really like straws, so I'm gonna be using this wooden skewer. And then three coffee filters, cardboard or piece of paper to work on, a spray bottle with some water in it, and some markers. I have so many, so I'm just gonna try to use as many colors as possible. So, so let's get for the started. first step, all you're gonna need are your coffee filters, your markers, and your workstation, and that's it. So the first step is to take your coffee filter and you're just gonna want to color it any colors you want, and my brother's gonna be helping me with another one because there's three different ones. So I think for this first one, I'm gonna use a purple marker and this blue marker. And then what are you gonna do? You wanna do red? Yeah. And I think yellow would look good and orange. I think that'll look good. Yellow and orange? Yeah, I think that'll look good. Okay, so we're just gonna get started coloring it and we'll be now right I finished back. coloring mine. I would definitely recommend doing it in triangles and this one's like super dark. I would not recommend doing that. You can like just, it doesn't have to be perfect because the water is gonna be m mushing it around so it looks tie-dyed. So you're just gonna wanna do these to all three of them and I would definitely recommend using different colors for each one because it'll just stand out much better and it'll look really nice. So we're just gonna finish these up. Step, you're going to need your coffee filter, all three coffee filters you colored, and your squirt bottle. And you're gonna need, uh, I'm using tin foil, cause this, the marker is gonna bleed everywhere and the water is gonna like, there's, it's just gonna make a big mess. So you're gonna wanna use something like tin foil, or if you have like a plastic bag, just make a covered surface to use it. So now all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your squirt bottle on, a like mist and you're just gonna want to squirt it. Don't like super, don't drench it too much. And you're just gonna want to keep squirting it until the whole thing's covered in water and it like starts moving around. So this is what mine looks like as you can see. So now you're gonna wanna do this to all three and then just place it down on another covered surface. So now you're just gonna wanna let them dry and don't, like hurry them up. You can try to use the blow dryer. That's what I want to try to do. But you don't want to like lift them up or anything until they're fully dry because you don't want to risk the color blending together too much. And then as soon as they're dry, you can move on to the next step. For the final step, you're going to need your three dried coffee filters. I just let mine air dry. And one side is much more vibrant than the other one, so I'm gonna be using that as the center. And then you're gonna need your masking tape or whatever tape you want, your scissors, and your straw or skewer. So let's get started on this step. So for this step, you're going to want to take your most, um, whatever color you want to be the center of your flower, and you want the vibrant side up, and then you're just going to want to just try to make it and take the pinch the bottom. You can see a little bit better in the video, but you wanna take this pinch the bottom and twist it a little bit. And then take a piece of your masking tape and just tape it up. So I'm just putting a tiny piece of masking tape. You can even put, put like half the masking tape on the filter and half of it off. But there we go. So it should look something like this. And it's obviously not gonna look like this when it's done. And you can just like pull the up, it up a little bit and then there we go. So now you're going to want to put it around. Again, you're gonna wanna take your next one and put it around and just keep doing it and keep adding tape at the bottoms. And you can just watch in the video how I do this. So let's do it. Now I finished putting the coffee filters on. I actually made little holes through the second and third one, just so it would be 
a little bit taller the flower and it should look something like this to make it come up a little bit you're just going to want to start at the bottom and put your hand in like a little circle so i'm just and then pull that circle up and then it should collapse into a flower and you can even open it up a little bit wherever you want and just fix it so now we're attaching the stem and this is probably the easiest step you're just going to want to take your piece of tape here and put the screw right on top and just take another piece of tape and just put it right around it. So, and there we go. That's what your flower looks like. If you want, you can even color the stem. I'm not going to, because I think it looks kind of cool, because I want like the colors to stand out. So this one looks really good, and I'm gonna be putting it around my house and showing you what it looks like. end of the video please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're new thanks for watching bye